Hey guys, welcome back to another Lego Star Wars 2017 Where is that review? Hey guys, this is how we have Luke's Rain Spear, the Walmart exclusive version. Um, is set number is 5173. Is ages 7 to 12 and up. It has 149 pieces. It retails for $19.99 or 20 US dollars here in the US. Um, now guys, this is a set that we as it, we got four like three years ago in the Mouse Icewood Gate Cantina set. Oh, we got the Mouse Icewood Gate Cantina and Luke's Plain Spear. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do like a vehicle comparison because I got the 2014 version from the Mouse Icewood Gate Cantina set with me. So we're going to be doing a comparison between the two so you guys can see the differences between the two because from what I can tell, this Plain Spear here is very similar to the, to the 2014 version and just a little upgraded, a little updated with a little bit of changes and such. But not that many, not that really big of changes, just little minor differences. But in my opinion, this is really a set you can skip out on. It, unless you guys have not gotten the Moss Aspect Katina set, and you guys never gotten the Blue Sky Spear before, or you ever got any of these main figures that we get in this set here. From the past few years, and so the main figures, it may, the main figure selection is great. We get Luke, the Tusker Raider, um, C3PO, and Obi Wan Kenobi from A New Hope. All of them are from Episode Four, um, and we also get a little Wop Rex, which is pretty cool as well. Um, and so let's go to the main figures, guys, and then we'll get onto the Wayne Spear itself, and then we'll get to the final cuts. Okay guys, so here are our main figures. We get four, originally four in, in this set, but we also get the Womp Rex. So I'm going to consider that main figure, even though it's not considering that as a main figure at the same time, but it's still a figure, so I'm going to go review it. I just judge myself. So let's start off with Luke Skywalker here. Our main hero in the original trilogy is Tatooine outfit. As you can see, there's not a difference in, in Luke. And also, for any previous versions at all, whatsoever. It's got his binoculars. He gets to have a lightsaber, which is okay, because in, the, in the, this part of the movie, he gets to have a, his lightsaber with him. All he has is binoculars. So that's pretty cool. Um, the detailing on him is awesome. I love the detail. Um, the hair piece is definitely detailed as well. I got all the other types of guns the same hair piece. And we have a double side face for Luke. We got a stern. Look, I space, and then we got a smile version, and like a heavy version of Luke. That's pretty cool. This is Luke Skywalker. Nothing much to him. Here's Ben Kenobi. As you can see, a very nice detail with the jar ropes and everything, with the cloak as well, with the brown cloak that he has. Going all the way down from the top to the bottom, so for the torso to the legs. He's got his blue lightsaber. Um, you can look up back here, you can just put. And he takes his hair piece off. He gets to have a double side face. That's the tongue on his face as well with the great beard and everything. It really, it really goes back with Alex Giddes. Alex Giddes' look. So it really resembles Alex Giddes very well. And we've got him in the Death Star set and the Mothas Cantina set. And so now we have C3PO as the next one. What they do about him either. He, this is the C3PO without the restraint bolt from the sand crawler and with the silver wake. So that's pretty cool. You'll see him with the silver wake all that often. Very nice with detail, very impressed. Go to the back. Nice with nice detail on the back as well. And this is just his robotic, normal robotic head. So there's no double sided face at all. But it's very nice with detail. Guys. As well, though, overall. And so, the next one is the Tusken Rare. Now, we only got in the Tusken Rare in another set in 2015, and it was the T6 show with a pilot and Tusken Rare and Wop Rat. So, this, so, that was the first time we ever got with the Wop Rat as well. So, as you can see, for the detailing on, on the Tusken Rare, for the head, it's very nicely detailed and very well done by Lego, as usual. And take a look at the torso here, everything. Very nicely detailed, everything in the legs. Also, very nicely detailed. And the back is very nicely detailed as well. <laughs> everything about the state figure is very well done, I gotta admit. 
No, no cons or anything about this new figure. Love it. Hey, it's got a little staff weapon thingy that he uses to attack Luke. So that's the Tusken Raider. Oh, it's nice to have another one of those. And then we have the Womp Rat. Very nice, it's a very nice animal figure to have. Mm -hmm. Because what we got, the first time we ever got this one was in the T6 shell. So it's always nice to get another one of these. You know, get that many of these all that, all that often for what I know. And so those are the main figures, guys. And overall, the main figures are new, but it's always nice to have them again. Just like in the, the Duel of the Face set. No, not the Duel of the Face, the Duel on that blue set and the US Jedi Starfire. It's always nice to have those main figures again, even though they're not brand new and exclusive to those sets. It's always, nice, it's always nice to have them again. So, just in case if you guys lost one of them or you guys never got gotten those main figures from previous sets in the past. So, yeah. So let's go to the last tier in the comparison, and then we'll go to the Fob Fox, into the Fob Fox afterwards. So let's go guys. Okay guys, so here's the Luke's Clan Spear, the 2017 version, and as you can see, it's very similar to the 2014 version, if you guys remember it. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do before I get to, into the features of it, I'm going to bring in the older one. And as you can see guys, it, you can tell it's very, very similar, but you, you can also tell there's been some differences, there's some upgrades, like in these engine boosters right here, they put these red bricks in front to cover those holes that were in the last one. Um, the stickers aren't really all that different. Um, the sticker that used to be here on the previous one is there on this one. Um, these curved pieces here on the on the main hall of the sphere are on here. On this, on the previous one, um, and there was also the parts upgrade in here within the spear here with this red brick, everything on the side, everything. Um, other than that, I know there's another one in here. I guess I guess I just found it. The inside, as you can see. Okay, show you guys this here. Got this uh, joystick here in the inside. And it's that shown in here. And you get these tiles in the inside of the newer of the newer one and you don't in the old one. So so that's how it that's okay, it's a, it's a no it, it, it's a nice upgrade. Always so welcome to have an upgrade to, to these vehicles and such from Star Wars and everything. Um the back are not really different. Um and I think I think that's all from I think. That's all of them. Yep, that's all. That's all the main differences that you can visual, visually tell very easily. Um, there may be other differences within the build, but it, it, from from what I can tell, if I already showed you guys, that there are differences in between these two. Just some minor differences. There are like major, major differences, like you see in multiple other Star Wars sets from the past and so I got a bit I don't, I don't know why I don't decide to bring out this one for it three years later after this one came out because it's very very similar but to be honest I can't really think of a reason why they would bring out the set now like I, I don't get it like I don't know but it is a Walmart exclusive so that that's probably why <laughs> that's probably why they decide to just bring the set out because they just put it under the exclusive slot whatever for Walmart so it won't be like produced way manufactured as a normal set so it's up to you guys really it is it, 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 to be honest it's really up to you if you guys want to get this the 2017 version or not because you don't really get new made figures and it, you basically get a very similar way my sphere from the Masato Katina, if you guys have that 2014 Masato Katina set. But if you guys don't, that's fine. This is a great way to get that land sphere that you missed out on with the Masato Katina set from 2014. Um, so that's basically the comparison. There's not really much to the two that are majorly different. Just some very minor differences with, within it. The two, and so let's go into the main features here. We're pulling rare main figures. And so what we're gonna do? 
is we're gonna try to recreate the scene here with the Tusker Rayer, the Womp Rat over here. It's so, all the Tusker Rayer is such a the being up Luke. <laughs> Being up Luke, um, they knock him out. Um, so they try to hijack the spear, damage it, or take whatever they can find. They're like scavengers or whatever, looking for parts. 3 PO is off to the side, knocked out as well. And then Obi Wan shows up, scares him away, and scares the Tusker Rayer off into the hills or whatever, into the mountains. And he joins up with Luke, gets 3 PO. And so, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put them inside the spear. So they can escape. Put Luke here by the, the driver's seat, the driver's side. So you can drive the spear. We got a little wheel, like a little steering wheel piece in there, which is nice. Six Obi Wan in there. And now we're gonna stick Luke going in there. Just like in the movie, we do a sit. He was sitting on the back with R2, but for some reason they're gonna put R2 in this set. It was probably because we're gonna get R2 in the Yoda's Jedi Starfire. So if you guys get this set and the Yoda's Jedi Starfire, um, then you would have all the characters. But that's kind of uh, kind of now okay, like it, because it kind of feels like uncomfortable because it, because I, I can see somebody out there liking the original trilogy, but I've never seen the Clone Wars. And so they have no clue what Yoda's Jedi Starfire was. And so, them getting a set that they didn't really want yet, and getting, a set, and getting this set that they want, it kind of does itself very... I don't know how you would explain it, but you guys know what I mean. Like, if you want to get one set, they go have all the characters, but there's another set with the one character that you're missing. They're, they're basically forcing you to get both sets. So... I know that's the, that's what the case was with Wago thinking wise on the idea, but if you guys have the RCG to be figure that would be getting since 2014, then you guys shouldn't have any problem with it. But for those people out there that have that's just started collecting Wago Star Wars sets and haven't seen the Clone Wars before, but have seen Episode 4, A New Hope, that has this beer in there, and within the movie, um, that it's kind of kind of disappointing on gay R2 as well but it's okay we, because we all because we get the Tusker Rare so we so that's a plus maybe they decided to instead of putting R2 in there maybe they would put like one of the rare one of the more rare figures in there so you so you, you'll have a better chance of getting that May figure because I know the Tusker Rare is one of those rare Star Wars figures because it, 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 it only came out like one set back in the day and now it came out in this one so that's basically why in my opinion, that's basically what I think was going on with Lego's ideas and thinking wise on which main figures to put in this, in this set. So yeah. Um also, so anyways back to the review. Um so we got Luke, Ben and R2 no, C three PO on the spear, so they basically drive off into the sunset <laughs> back to the sand car and Luke's home that was AK burnt to death by the stormtroopers <laughs> by the Imperial Stormtroopers. Um, so yeah, and then in episode 4 it continues on and all that. And Luke sells his flying spear to the Jawas in the, in te in the town, in the Mosasli. And the end, that's the end of Luke's flying spear <laughs> of <laughs> being in the movie. And so, overall, this is, this is a great way to recreate that little scene in episode 4 where Luke and Trinkio are chasing off, uh, chasing R2 to try to find him. And they run into the Tusker Raiders and everything, but it, this is the scene where we first are, are introduced to Obi-Wan, originally. And so, yeah, this is a great scene to recreate, I gotta admit. But it, it, it's just a set that you would definitely be worth getting if you have the 2014 version. Now, I'm gonna be talking about that in the file thoughts, so let's get into the box, and then we'll go to the file thoughts that end up. So here's the box, guys. As you can see here, it's a very small and thick box at the same time. Oops. It's really thick and it's really like small. Um, very long as well. 
as you can see, it's three screen that little scene that I told you guys about on Tatooine in the beginning of New Hope. Or towards the beginning, like, at, like, 30 minutes after the beginning at least. Um, with Ben Kenobi using the Force to get rid of the Tusken Raider that's about to get the, get the, let me crap out of Luke. Um, 3PO with the binoculars for some reason. <laughs> Because of the movie, he was knocked out by the like way before the, the, the Tusken Raiders attacked Luke. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, here we got the main figure lineup. We get the Disney logo down here. We get the set information on the side. The Lego Star Wars logo. Uh, and we get the Rogue One art, which is awesome. Love the love that Rogue One art. And take a look at, take a look at the back here. We get a little another action scene here with the Tusken Raider and the Whopper riding off into the mountains to the hills. So we have Ben Kenobi air reducing himself to Luke, and three people just staying there on the ground. Here we have this is the one feature, and I forgot to show you guys that feature. Whoops! Um, so I'll show, I'll show you right now. <laughs> so that one feature, that one big feature that's in the set is you can take this top off, and you can store Obi Wan's lightsaber or Luke's binoculars in here for storage. So that's pretty cool. That's really the main feature to the set is the, it is the secret storage area inside the spear. So yeah, <laughs> completely forgot to show you guys that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Got so cosplay on the person and everything else that I forgot to show you guys that. So my bad. <laughs> Apologies for that, but I showed you guys that, so I'm good now. <laughs> um. So that's really the box, guys. So, you know, not that many features to the set because it is a spear, so it's not the main features. There's no room or shears or nothing, so yeah, it makes sense. So overall, guys, this set here, I got met. I like, I like the land spear a lot because I've gotten the 2009 version and the 2014 version for the month of the King King set, yeah, and now I have this version. So I got three different versions of the land spear, and I got met. If it's a set that you guys, if you guys really like A New Hope, that I would say definitely buy this set, just for the sake of it, because it is A New Hope. Um, it's only 20 bucks, so it's not like one of those big high-end priced sets. It's pretty cheap. It's pretty well priced, so I gotta admit, it's, pre it's a pretty good deal for what you get. You get the Tusker Raider, you get Ben Kenobi, Luke, and a 3PO, and you get a great spear. So yeah, I, I gotta admit, 20 bucks is definitely worth this set. Um, but if you guys have gotten the Mos Eisley K-Tan 2014 set, then... I would probably skip out on this unless you guys really want to get the Tusker Rear and the Whopper again and from this set. It's really up to you guys to be honest with you. I'm not basically telling you guys to, what to do. It's basically up to you guys. If you guys want to get the set or not, it's up to you. Um, Because it really depends on what you guys want and what you want to do. Because if you guys got the Boss SOK Tina set, then I would go more towards not and just skipping on the set. But at the same time, you're getting great main figures and you're getting great vehicle. So and it's always great to have new versions, new versions and multiple versions of the same vehicle, so you can see the evolution of the vehicle. Um, but if you guys have not gotten the Mos Eisley K Tina, if you have a kid that's starting to collect Lego Star Wars sets, definitely buy this set. It's great. It has a great price tag on it. Um, it's got great characters in here. It's got big characters in here, like Obi Wan, Ben, and 3PO. Um, and you get the Tuscan, the one of the rare Star Wars figures out there, the Tuscan Rear and the Waff Rat. Um, and you also get a great blank spear. I got admit, it's very, it's very upgraded. It's very well done. I got admit. And the upgrades, some are acceptable and some of them are, but I, I was able to bypass those. So I say it looks great. I got admit, it looks. It's like, a, over the years, as Lego gets better, 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 these vehicles and such keep getting more, more and more accurate by the by the year. <laughs> so, I gotta admit, this is very well done, and I gotta admit, give, it, I'll give props to the creator of this set, because they, they did a really good, great job, and they were very smart about it. They, real, they probably realized that they brought this one out in 2014, and they probably asked the person, the creator of the set, to, like, hey, um, there's some upgrades that we want you to do for the Sony Spear. Can you do that? And so he knows with these curves and everything. Hang on, this guy over. <laughs> um, anyway, just curved pieces, everything, the bricks here and the insides here, the differences in the inside. Um, and so yeah, I got a miss. This is a great set. 
I'm gonna rate this a 10 out of 10 because it is a great set. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, because it, it does what it needs to do. Um, there's nothing missing to it. Um, and the only thing is, if you guys already got this vehicle from 2014, you can probably skip it on. It's up to you guys. And by the way, guys, this is a Walmart exclusive. In case you guys didn't hear that from earlier in the review, this is a Walmart exclusive Boy and Walmart set. Um, but the A Wing is the Toys Rush exclusive, and the Desert Skip Escape is the Target exclusive. So, yeah. Um, so, that's gonna be it, guys. So, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below on my channel. And I'll see you guys in another Lego Star Wars 2017 Wear Step Review and an update video or any other video that I can think of <laughs> that I can really think of doing. So, have a great day, guys. Bye. See me in the fourth screen with you.